Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. I'm going to start you off once again with our current alerts because they have updated just a little bit here. Looking at that purple area, going to be above 2,500 feet. We will see a winter weather advisory extending all the way through into 8 o'clock tonight. So still in those upper elevations, you're going to see a lot of snowfall and some high wind speeds too. So the visibility is going to be very bad out there. About 6 to 13 inches of snowfall coming up for today in that area. Right now it looks like it should be closer to about 8 based on the most recent models, but I'm actually go ahead and show you what that looks like here. So right next to me, you're only seeing about 3 inches of snow, but if you were to see about an additional 8, and that's going to be on top of what they already have, a little more than that, 6, and now we're up to 12, so 13 inches right above that. You're seeing just right above my shin there. So picture that on top of what they already have, and you can see why there is a winter weather advisory. Now imagine this snow falling right now, falling sideways and making it a little bit more difficult to see as well. So that's why things are slightly difficult out there for the remainder of today. But as we get later into the week and even tomorrow, that's going to be expiring and we're going to end up seeing a lot better conditions, probably going to melt some of that snow as well. Speaking of such, though, I'll show you that model right now that does produce about eight inches for today. You can see in those darker zones of blue, it's four to eight and then Sandium Pass looking like about five inches, a lot less for Willamette Pass for today, only seeing about three inches of snowfall. Now, speaking of precipitation, this is what we saw yesterday for our accumulations in the rainfall and so far haven't seen too much more, but there should be a bit more for Eugene. It looks like close to about half an inch for today, then a little bit closer to three quarters of an inch out on the coast. So still a wet day ahead, but not as wet as yesterday. Watching the storm cast pretty quickly here from seven to eight, we see some southern showers. Showers come in at 1030, get a little bit more sparse. A little bit more of a flare up here at 1230 towards the south and then we see them scattering out and decreasing through the remainder of the evening to bring us our beautiful day for tomorrow. Seven day forecast will show you that we're seeing fog and some cloudy conditions tomorrow. Rainfall for today, of course, and then going from 52 up to 66 Friday. So it's going to be getting a lot warmer everywhere. That includes the Umpqua Basin at 51 degrees for today. 68 by Friday, big 70 Saturday, Monday even more. Cascade Pass is 31 for today, up to 55 by Sunday. So it looks like that snow is going to end up melting. And Willamette Valley, of course, 51 today, all the way up to 66 Saturday, 67 by Monday. So the temperatures continue to climb. But now it's time.